keep your aura field clean. And when it comes to your aura field, this is your space and this is your inner world that you need to keep clean in order for it to basically blossom and grow. So you don't never want to put yourself into an area and location of getting this dirty. It's going to get dirty from time to time when you go out there and interact with the world. And of course, you go through certain experiences and stuff like that. But it's always highly important to make sure that you do a cleanse and you do like a 360 AKA you get all those awarenesses and all those experiences that you accumulated and went through. Make sure that you're releasing the bad and, of course, only accepting the good. Because when you accept the good, good things always accumulate into prosperity. When you always accept the, the down moments, the depressing moments, this turns out into circumstances where you kind of like, you know, get sunk up in that area. And this is what kind of like slows up your manifestations or slows up what you pretty much got going on and what you're pretty much truly trying to accumulate when it comes to your tasks, your projects, and of course, what you're working on, and of course, building on. So when it comes to your aura field, it's highly important to make sure that your aura is cleansed from all negativity, and of course, all negative circumstances and situations. You're going to go to some areas and locations where, you know, your aura field can be basically get tested by certain individuals, and of course, you're going to basically go through areas and locations of experiences of pretty much dealing with baggage, especially for individuals that you pretty much have deep connections with or things that you are deeply attached to. You pretty much may have to go through that circumstance and situation of letting these things go. Because the moment you allow yourself to basically get synced up and, of course, swim up in these areas and locations, you kind of, like, lose yourself. And, when of course, it's good to know that you're living your life. <clears throat> but once you lose yourself, that's the problem right there. That's the problem that you got to pretty much not go to and you never want to actually experience that that's when it's called your desires and things of that matter that we pretty much get truly invested into and things of that perspective yeah have fun do what you got to do but always know there's moderation and that's key and the moment you pretty much go off that cliff you better basically create another cliff where you pretty much won't be able to actually fall too hard for me because it's it's in life you got to interact with the world for me you can't be too away from people places and things or too detached you got to come down sometimes but don't put yourself into an area and location where you kind of like, you know, get wrapped up or get up into an entanglement where you're kind of like stuck into that circumstance situation. And depending on how many years, months, and times that you kind of like accumulated yourself with that area and location, that's how much time and months and, of course, awarenesses that you got to pretty much get up out of there. Because once you get about that loophole system, you'll be able to actually be free and live your life. But once you get caught up into a situation where you trap yourself, Things get very detriment. Things get very chaotic. Things get very out of place. And you never want to pretty much get out of place. You want to make sure you stay in your place, stay in your lane. This way you be yourself. And when you be yourself, pretty much you won't have nothing to worry about when it comes to that end of